what I was attempting to do is to give a broader um, phenomenological uh, attempts to locate the universal nature of an experience, right? Universal is a bit strong, but I'll put it up here. Um, I like general better. So you can say, uh, you know, the, uh, the experience of, um, for example, you might do a phenomenological research study on the experience of um, single women transitioning into, um, into shelters, right? Um, their husbands leave them, they're with their children, they have to um, go through a transitionary period where they, they reside in a shelter, a women's shelter, for a month or two or a few months. Um, and an account of many women in that shelter, or those shelters, many different shelters, their experience of sort of this transition from, from, uh, from being married and having uh, a home, having a residence, to being unmarried and not having a home, not having residence. Right? It's an it's, it's, um, unfortunate phenomena of our culture and our society, and not just American culture, human culture, right? Um, so this, this, there is a phenomenon. So you might limit your research to women who have gone through this transition period um, within the last six months so that it's fresh. Um, you might regulate how, the age of the women and the number of children that they have. The more that the women um, sort of demographic uh, status match, you know, women from 23 to 50, from 23 to 35 with at least two children, Dot, 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 who have been married for at least, and the population of women that you're interviewing meet those criteria, then their explanation of the experience is going to be very general. You're going to try and pick out what they've accounted for in that transition, uh, in that um, um, uh, transitory state, uh, and see if there is a if a pattern emerges. Right? Is there something that all the women are saying that um, that cohere? And this is this this is the sort of the basis of phenomenological research. Obviously you can use it to, to do any, any, any type of research, but I, as I said, I'm going to try and give examples so that you have a, um, a very solid grounding of what the research, uh, what the research does. Okay, um, the third, um, the third element of the five, uh, five elements of phenomenological research is that there's an attempt to identify shared experiences, an attempt to identify shared experiences among various individuals experiencing the same phenomenon. I'll say that again. There is an attempt to identify shared experiences among various individuals, many different individuals, and all these individuals are experiencing the same phenomenon. And uh, in, the, in the, the PDF that you can download, I actually drew a diagram, because for me, visuals always help. So basically, number three looks like this, right? We'll have, imagine that we say that Z is, um, into uh, right uh, imagine that Z represents transitioning into a woman's shelter right and we can sort of give the the caveats for time and duration and all that stuff but it's sort of a phenomenological account of a woman's experience in this trans uh, uh, transitory uh, point in her life right so let's say I interview a few women right so here's woman a Here's woman B, here's woman C, here's woman D, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, right? So, I interview all these women. All these women are going to have different experiences, right? They're all going to have different experiences. Their lived experience and what they disclose in the interview, the notes that you take uh, journaling and the notes that you take recording, they're all going to have different experiences. Some are going to have very, very sort of uh, um, um, horrific, I would imagine, experiences. Some will um, go through this transitory period relatively quickly. Some may be in this transitory period for a very, very long amount of time. There might be assistance from family. There might not be assistance from family, and so on, and so on, and so on. What's going to end up happening is that you're going to have a diversity of phenomenological accounts, right? But they'll all be talking about the exact same thing, right? So that despite the fact that you're talking about multiple different people, and multiple different people's perspectives, their perspective is of the same thing, this sort of transition period into a women's shelter. So that at the conclusion of your research, if you choose to use phenomenological research as 
a mode of conducting your, you know, your thesis or your dissertation or whatever it is that you might be doing, you can look back and make a general account of what this might be like. I wouldn't, you know, words like might are essential in writing. You overlook words like that, but it's not the case that um, an experience based on an N of 7 or 10 or even 100, an experience of a uh, woman's life in um, transition into and out from women's shelters is defined as such, right? No, it's not. Um, based on the research that I've done, um, uh, it seems to be the case that, you know, dot, 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 dot. It might be the case that, dot, 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 dot. My interpretation of the case was dot, 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 right? So what, we're in, what we do is the participants are there to give us an account, right? The participants aid in understanding, in my understanding of Z, of whatever the phenomenon is. So phenomenological research is motivated by my interest as a researcher to have a better understanding of this phenomenon in the world. The way that I have a better understanding of this phenomenon in the world is that I interview many different people who have experienced that phenomenon and I ask them about their experience. Hey, tell me your experience of Z. 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 Based on my research, based on interviewing all of these people who had an experience of Z, what they all said was this. What none of them said was this. Because they all said this, this is a general, I, you know, it suggests that this thing, whatever that thing is, is a general characteristic of Z. I would say something more along the lines, a little bit more dilute, like it suggests that this could be a general characteristic of Z. So hopefully, you, I, the people who watch these videos, you guys understand what I'm saying. So that's, that's, that, that's important. What we want to recognize is that the whole goal of phenomenological research is um, a better understanding of the phenomenon. The way we come to have a better understanding of the phenomenon is by interviewing multiple people, all of whom have experienced the same phenomenon. We know they're going to give us different accounts of the phenomenon, and um, insofar as they give us different accounts of the phenomenon, we have a better understanding of the general nature, arguably, of the phenomenon. So that's the, the third element, and I think for me personally, um, well, I mean, all of these are important, right? All of these are important, but three really sort of um, uh, um, crystallizes, right? And it, 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 it signifies what phenomenological research really is about, at least in my interpretation. All right, number four, um, phenomenolog <coughs> within phenomenological research, <coughs> excuse me, there's an attempt, <coughs> sorry, Within uh, phenomenological research, there's an attempt to locate the essence of the experience, right? And the whole point is to, to, to have an essence of the experience. Like um, narrative research, one of the points that I said in narrative research, I forget where exactly in the discussion I said it, but one of the points of narrative research is to make sure that you, as a writer, as a researcher, create a discourse which lends itself to empathizing with the plight of the individual, right? Um, one of the best, one of the best phenomenological accounts of um, the Holocaust uh, was Viktor Frankl's um, discourse on meaning, right? And Frankl had a passage in there. It was it was probably the deepest thing I've ever read in my life. He said, so, and this is empathy, right? This is the this is the point, right? So that you understand the experience. Um, he, he said he had a friend who was asleep, and the the friend was having in the Holocaust in the in the concentration camps. And the friend was having a nightmare. And the friend is writhing and twisting and turning. And the, the nightmare is horrifying. And you see someone that you care for in a state of, of uh, I don't know, a, a state of angst. And um, you want to wake that individual up. You want to say, hey, wake up, wake up. It's only a dream. But he recognized that the nature of the dream was a better state of affairs than the nature of reality, being in, in, in confinement. Um, and he allowed his friend to continue in a nightmarish in our nightmarish dream because it was better than that reality. It's impossible for you to be a human being, read that, and not empathize with the plight of what was going on. Like, he, he, he complete for me at least, that passage, um, uh, it, it spoke volumes of the experience, right? Um, that's what you want as a researcher to get from your participants, right? The questions that you ask your participants should elicit... Um, not just a very sort of open-ended, um, tell me about your experience, but 
you want the participant to be able to talk about how they felt, right? What was your feeling when you, uh, when you first came to the, the, the women's shelter? How did that make you feel? Um, being in the women's shelter, have, have you lost hope? Do you have hope? Um, how do you plan to get out? These types of questions won't just, you know, they're not sort of the mechanical sort of business, finance, money questions. Like, okay, how long do you think your duration here is going to be? And what do you anticipate doing once you get out? And how do you plan on getting out? You know, it's, it's, more, it's more tell me about your experience. But I really want to know, as a good phenomenologist, I, re I really want to know what your feelings are while you're in the experience, right? Because that's going to contribute to me understanding what, and also visualizing what it must be like to be there. I'm not a woman, um, I'm not single, but if I were a woman and I were single and I did find myself in a woman's shelter, I now have a better understanding of what that experience must be like. And that empathy that the researcher is able to, to, to sort of latch onto is gonna hopefully, if the researcher does it right, drive the conclusion and now make a donation, you know, get your checkbooks out and donate to your local, you know, women's shelter or whatever.